guys after subscribing to this channel please make sure that you also press the bell icon so that no notification no new video of mine any educational video is missed by anybody okay so i welcome all my dear students in the class tonight especially the ones who are going for the practical tomorrow very very important class for you people i'll not waste your time tonight's class i'll not be waiting a lot for the answers it's going to be mostly question answer question answer class we will not be waiting <clears throat> and spending a lot of time i want to wind up this class as early as possible by just giving you the tips and tricks into understanding the questions and answers and if suppose this kind of question comes what should be your approach all right now i have a mixed bag of a lot of oski some some of the oskis were there in some of the you know uh, different exams some of the oskis were there in some of the you know these um, classes that they take or mock classes mock viva classes they take <clears throat> some were there from the net so i have mixed all of them together and i've tried to give you a good bundle now uh, let me see how many students are there who joined and okay if we have enough of the participants so first of all uh you know a lot of uh, you know blessings to all my students who are going for the practical tomorrow believe me it feels like i am going myself because i have trained you i have coached you i know your weak points i know your strengths tonight is a night to focus on your strength all right guys you know until up till now i used to uh, feel that there is uh, you know this this kind of motivating talk doesn't work and all these things they really you know they're just wasting time but believe me right before the examination the worst thing that you can do that puts you behind the others is panic or trying to do a lot of things at the last moment just have a little bit of calmness inside of you just had that confidence that whatever i have done up till now let that percolate inside me let it stay inside me usually these things they have real bad cross connections and in, you know in front of the examiner you get half the time you usually get in your theory answers okay in theory you're far more composed and calm because you know the time is in your hand you can go back to the question and write it down but in front of the examiner you have to answer there and then and examiners they judge you on all these things your you know strength is calmness even in the crisis situation if you are panicking you will end up doing blunders you end up saying stupid things which examiners get irritated by if you try to show that you're very smart none of the examiners are going to like it so have a very humble attitude have a very calm attitude politely say sorry ma'am it's not coming in my mind right now it's fine it's absolutely fine that's the best answer that you can give sorry ma'am i'm not able to recollect i'm a little nervous that's okay examiner might tip on the end of passing you but if you try to you know speak syndromes and rare things that is counted as being overconfident or over smart none of the examiners like it do not end up irritating them that's a very important tip whether you want to take it or not it's very very important i have judged students i keep judging them as well the way they answer their demeanor everything matters a lot how you perform under pressure is what finally matters none of you believe me all of you sitting right now in front of me none of you is 100% prepared for tomorrow's practical but what you're prepared with you have to be confident with just that i know my students i know all of you i have been getting frantic very panicky calls messages since morning that ma'am please we need a little booster session tonight which is why i have started with it all of you know sufficient enough to pass the exam and i again repeat examiners sit there to pass you not to fail you they have that soft corner all of them have been through the stage until under some of then maybe like that but in very very uh, you know rare circumstances you'll get to meet such examiners and you know there is a whole committee of examiners not just one so one might flunk you but the others are there to support you so the only bad thing that you can do tomorrow is a lack of sleep tonight a lot of studies tonight or a lot of criss cross connections in the night take a good sleep preferably do not study anything after my class all right that will be good i'll go i'll go slow but i'll go in such a speed in which uh how do we join the live stream uh jitu if you're there in the class akash if you're there in the class there's a girl sakshi please help her out in joining the stream the main stream the live class please okay 
so uh yeah coming back so please the worst thing that you can do tonight is to panic is to study a lot keep studying till late at night uh, uh, skip your sleep get up early in the morning start studying again no none of that you're going to do just promise me that you will sleep properly you will have an eight hour sleep you will not get up early in the morning and you will not go through the through your books if you get up early in the morning just pray meditate do anything to relax your mind believe me girls and guys it's going to help you tomorrow you need to keep your mind sharp focus calm and easy you'll get a lot of time for your case presentation history viva everything to present your case to prepare for your case you'll get enough time oski i'm telling you again and again you can never be fully prepared for oski so please be very calm while you're doing oski questions it's fine if you skip a question it's fine if you do not you're not able to come to some conclusion believe me oski stations are not difficult okay they are very oft repeated and expected questions so it's not going to be difficult for you to uh, pick up what it is just in case you are not able to pick up what it whatever it is even then you've lost only just three to four marks you have a lot of you know stations to cover it up and at any point in time if you still feel that i'm not doing well please girls keep your sanity intact okay perform better in the next session that's your that's all you have in your hands you do not have anything else but to perform best that's all i'm saying with those thoughts in mind let's begin tonight's session because in that case we'll become very late and my whole purpose of taking the class will be lost all right so let's start with the session tonight let's start with the first slide see they're that easy now i can just uh, by the picture i get i get what it is but I'll still read the history. So, 28 year old woman, she's second gravita, para one, with previous cesarean. So, it's like adding on to what I was expecting. Got admission tertiary care center with APH. Okay. Pallor three plus pulse. She's having tachycardia, hypotension. She's not a good amount, at least 30% of blood volume she has lost. Uh, maybe even 40%. Uterus 32 weeks, kephalic, but the FHS is there. That's very important. PV bleed is plus, plus, plus. She's not taken, uh, she does not have any antenatal records. Emergency cesarean section was done. Placenta was anterior low lying. It was adherent. Blood loss was around 500 ml. Vitals were stable. Uterine conservation with the shown procedure was performed. Now, where this, this, this question is difficult. It's giving you so many hints. Yes, absolutely. This is what I like. Please keep answering. You, you know the questions are there in front of you. Please keep answering because I don't think I'll be able to stop for your answers tonight, guys, because my lovely, uh, you know, uh, students for practical tomorrow. I don't think it's, you know, justice with them to keep stopping for your answers. I'll just do question by question answers and I'll not be waiting a lot for your response. Thank you so much, Asha Osha. Very good. You people have been very fast. I want everybody to keep answering the questions because you can see uh, the questions right in front of you. Yes, definitely. It's a uterine artery embolization. As you can see, I've taken an elaborate class on this before. I think when I was doing fibroids, proper procedure, everything I have taken up. So this is uterine artery embolization. Excellent, Praveen. Uh, which substance is used to achieve this hemostasis? It's exactly my answer. Have you seen my slides or what? It's exactly my answer. PV gel foam. That's absolutely right. These are the two things which I have also written. What are the complications of this procedure, guys? I'll tell you. I have a whole table in front of me in which uh, you know the immediate complications I have given the um, you know uh, post op uh, complications are there and then later you know the uh, remote complications are there so there is a whole table immediate and then you know post and uh, later on so yes you have something which is called as usually you what happens immediately is groin hematoma okay avulsion of the artery these things are very sudden. And then post embolization syndrome happens maybe two to three late, days later, in which you have fever, discharge, and you have a lot of pain. So, all these things are the complications. I'll be showing the slides. Don't worry. In case of bladder invasion, now that was a question asked by one of my students. I would preferably leave the placenta there. Okay, but I have to be very, I'll not be able to sleep that night because if the placenta has been left inside, it can have any course of action. It can bleed, it can stay like that. But if it starts bleeding, then emergency cesarean hysterectomy and then, you know, a lot of because it's adhering to the uh, to the bladder, then what sutures on the bladder, putting the catheter in situ for a long time. So all these things are there. All right. So 
thank you praveen you're such a sweetheart thank you so much for helping out my student whoever's there i hope uh, sakshi was she please join the live stream because it's very important i'll be going fast and try to finish it off in time it's a uterine artery embolization pv and gel foam are used guys okay this is the table which i wanted to tell you early and late complications and immediate complications of groin hematoma the aortic dissection because you're threading through the aorta arterial thrombosis any reaction as media you can say sudden spasm that can happen and non target embolization these are very you know very very common and immediate this is basically by for fibroids and adenomyosis you can always name it for uh, you know this uh, uh, uterine artery embolization for placenta accreta syndrome as i said early complications within 30 days you can have post embolization syndrome pain fever nausea malaise pain uh, yeah I, i said that discharge urinary tract infection and dvts they are very very common in the early complications and late you have vaginal discharge this i would not say but yes endometritis amenorrhea these things can also happen because you've tried to um, you know kind of um, occlude the uterine artery correct so what acog says what acog says as the gold standard they say placenta percreta with blood invasion you have to do cesarean hysterectomy this is as per acog guidelines okay that's the gold standard but the other way is to deliver out the baby leaving the placenta in situ watching with caution nobody is going to do anything you know they're not going to fail you for giving it this second wala answer no problem at all all right and but you have to be very very watchful in this second option okay first is cesarean hysterectomy but again it will be very difficult hysterectomy because the bladder is right there being invaded literally by the placenta so to take it out piecemeal to leave some some part of it to see to to leave some part of the you know even uterus clinging onto the bladder that you might have to do it will not be a clean cut hysterectomy some people do sub total hysterectomy believe me that doesn't work very well because the actual problem is in the lower segment especially with uh, uh, respect to the bladder uh, with yeah with respect to the bladder so that can keep having hematuria and so many other different company uh, you know complications no one believe me no you know viva of the post graduate students will go into that direction because placenta accreta syndrome if you have witnessed if you have assisted that is enough for you no one is expecting you to go and manage it okay so intricate details are not going to be asked 